Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So it is time for our hashtag Gnomtastic Tassel. And this is a collaboration with Jovi over at Creating with Jovi and Norma Lisa at Norma Lisa, the Florida Misfit Rafter. Yes, so this is actually week three. This is running for four weeks. And the first week we did a ghost gnome tassel for Halloween. And then last week we did a Thanksgiving gnome tassel for week two. And this week is a shabby chic. And then next week is going to be a Christmas tassel. So I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time, but not... Uh, too awful for ahead of time so what i went ahead and do since you all know last week those of you who watched it i kind of got into a fight with my hot glue gun which i don't use very often and i have can't see it that good because it's not going to focus but i have the proofs the wounds rather uh to prove that the hot glue gun won that battle so, when using it, I really wanted to pay attention as much as I can and do as little as possible on film, you know, just in case I get in a fight with it again. So, I did go ahead and put the tassel together. So, here I had some of this. It's just kind of a creamy, off-white looking um, fabric. So, I just tore out some strips of it. And then I went into my stash and found a couple of different um, laces that I had. These I had actually bought, I believe, like well over a year ago. And they were from a lady uh, who was a seamstress and had her own shop. Uh, she did that for over 60 years, I was told at the time. And she was in her early to mid-90s, I believe. She was still living so it was uh you know living a state sale but unfortunately couldn't care for herself anymore i believe she was like 92 um so she was put in an assistant living um to have that round the clock care that she needed so the estate decided to go ahead and sell her items and guys it was like oh my gosh but yeah so i got out some of those which you know is one of those things that stays buried in the closet um and then i had some other this is also vintage it actually came from a different estate sale uh, but i just cut out some strips of this pink um you could probably see it better if i didn't have a pink mat down but yeah um so i just cut out some strips of it and that is what i wrapped for the gnomes hat with and then just a piece of lace for the um tie hangy thingy on the top there we go so i have picked out a few things to embellish with so i had picked up these flowers so i got a couple of those out and what i did guys was took my pliers because they are kind of thick and bumpy and i didn't really want them that way and i actually do this a good bit with these flowers i mean if you find them on sale and they're a really good deal get them because there's likely something you could do with it so i just took my needle nose pliers and squished them so they would be flatter because i did want them flatter so i just wanted to show you guys that so if you see something that ends up being relatively bumpy that you're not sure if you can use you can always um yeah like flatten them down i also picked out some different um beads and stuff for the shabby chic nose and i think i've decided on this one guys it looks like a really light pink and it's kind of bumpy and i thought it was the perfect size for a nose so we will get that nose in there um so we have the flowers and then i had these little puffy things that i bought this way um and they were this size and of course that was way too big so i actually took the light pink one and cut it down so i think we're going to give it some major blingy bling bling at the top especially since this is um shabby chic and that i just pulled out of this mason jar that i have full of bigger bigger you know bumpier things that's kind of cute but that's a peachy and not a pink yep so yeah so i pulled it out of there so we will go ahead and pop these and again these are just my bigger paper flowers and different things like that in there 
Um, I did pull out some bows, but I don't know that this pink is going to work. I'm going to have to give it a minute and... Oops, let's throw that around. Ooh, I just slung that halfway across the craft room. Okay, well, maybe not halfway because my short arm was able to reach it. Um, so we have those, and this, again, is the beads. Lots of uh, vintage beads that I have bought from an Etsy shop. So I stuck them in a mason jar, so that's where I picked my bead from. Um, yeah, so we got which one we're going to use, so we can go ahead and um, put these back in here. So we have those ready to be put back up. I'm trying to get better at actually putting things where they belong. And I did get out these flowers that we used last week. Um, the, from Recollection, the floral embellishments, the pink, and then the uh, browns and cream color. Don't know that we'll use those because I think I like what I have come up with. So we have that. I'm going to get out a bow just in case. We're going to try it. Um, and just see how see how that comes out all right and then this is that tool that was left that I cut off and of course I will save that as crazy as it may seem because look we could use that on something I'm sure so we'll stick it down in there all right should we start with the nose and guys I may get and be extremely quiet while using this um, glue gun over here because uh, yeah it's not very nice to say the least so I'm going to start out with trying to be extremely careful and shoot some hot glue up in here if it will actually come out because I think it's getting a little bit low I did get out another glue stick in case we needed it so we will try to get this stuck up in there where we want it and hold it in there until it sticks hopefully yep I hope you're all having a good day and I want to thank um, Jovi and Norma Lisa for this collaboration it is really cute I have had fun with it okay so there's the nose I think the nose turned out really good can you guys see that? I'm sorry. I think my allergies are bugging me today. So, yep. And then I was thinking that this we could put up there at the top. I mean, that's really a bold statement, I think. But I think that may work there. And then I was thinking about just putting... I was thinking about two flowers, but that may be overboard. Maybe we should just do one flower. Kind of like right here on the side. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some... I'm going to get quiet, guys. You know, this glue gun is very, very dangerous and does not like me very much at all. Okay. Oh, that's going to be cute. So we'll put that right there kind of to the side. Our nose is in there good, so that's good. Oh, yeah, that's cute. And I did go ahead and cut this. Oh, there's some of that tool at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Okay, so now a decision on this, guys. What do y'all think? You do that or just do a bow do what it would look like if we did both that is too much hmm but there it is with the bow it is kind of cute but I mean, this is a very bold statement there. Hmm. I'm torn, guys. And the 
let's see. Actually, I kind of do like that bow. I'm just thinking this is just... Even though it's supposed to be shabby chic, I'm thinking it's just too much. And thinking about it now, I probably should have had... Coulda, shoulda, woulda picked out something as far as beads to add to it and I did not do it that would have been fun like a dangle and I have of course nothing at all at the ready so we're going to have to skip that Okay, I think we're just going to do the bow. Call it a day. Let's see if we can get some glue on here. It's like we might get enough out there. stay there perhaps try to get that off of the end of my scissors like a silly goose yep I think that's cute what do you guys think can you see it good because I'm telling you I cannot see worth anything today with having, I don't know, my eyes are just, I don't know, things seem a bit blurry. Well, I think that's cute. You see if I can lower you guys down some. See if it may. There we go. Yep, that focused a little bit better. Alright guys, so this is our... Hashtag Gnome Tastic Tassel. Hashtag Tassel Tuesday for Jovi over at Creating with Jovi. And Norma Lisa over at Norma Lisa, the Misfit Florida Crafter. So this one was really fun. I really enjoyed picking out this stuff for this shabby chic gnome tassel. Really cute. And again, if you would like to participate, just jump in anytime. I'm sure that will be fine. Um, and I will make sure that Jovi and Norma Lisa's um, channels are both linked below. But I really do like how it turned out. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. I really do appreciate it. I love you all. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.